everyone, I'm Bill, I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage where we finally have the all new 2022 BMW S1000 single R up on the lift for its first major modification. And of course, as you guys know, I've been teasing it. Uh, we've already done one kind of modification. We added the slip-on onto the exhaust, the new SC Project slip-on, but we've got the stock exhaust back on it. Somehow, well, and we went over to the dyno and dynoed this thing completely stock at 164.33 horsepower, which was pretty amazing to see. Today, we have a four-part video coming out. Now, I wanted to do a four-part video because there's so much that we're doing to this bike today. So, first, this video is going to be the start of removing all of the fairings for the front. We're gonna remove the tank, we're gonna remove the top front fairing, we're gonna remove both side fairings and all the fairings around the radiator guard because we have three things that we're gonna install. Those are the other three videos that you guys will see in conjunction with this. You're gonna see a radiator guard from Evotech go on to this. It is the S1000 double R uh, radiator guard, so we're gonna hope that it fits and uh, confirm it looks like it's the same part number. <clears throat> Video number two will be, of course, the exhaust, the full install of remover, removal and install of the header and muffler with the servo removal and uh and then of course the third and final video will be the Bren tune install we're going to be doing the flapper delete the air filter install and the tuning then we'll put it all back together on the fairing removal kit we'll put all the fairings back together and then We've got four videos out of this and uh, hopefully it will be um, informational for you because some of you guys might just be looking to do the EvoTech radiator guard so we'll be able to walk you through that uh, procedure. Or maybe you guys wanna do the exhaust system, we'll walk you through that. Or maybe you guys wanna keep the exhaust system stock but you wanna do the flapper delete, the air filter, and the uh, Brentoon with a uh, stage one. So we're gonna be able to walk you through that so sit back relax grab your coffee grab your margarita and uh, let's dive into video number one which will be the removal of all of the fairings from the tank the front all the side fairings getting everything off the front of this bike so we can do the radiator guard and the exhaust system flapper delete air filter and brent tune so here we go all right, so first we want to gather our tools, get everything together. This is again a full removal of the top fairing, the side fairings, this side fairing, the tank, and then all of the side fairings and front fairings that have are in the way for the uh, radiator guard and the header, okay? So tools, I like to gather as much tools as I can. I might be able to, I might need to use them, I might not. So uh, the main bolt is a T25. And then we wanna have a ratchet, we wanna have a swivel end, some bar ends, I like my little T handle. And this is kind of important. If you guys don't have one of these, I got this at Harbor Freight. You can uh, use a little uh, egg carton, okay? We wanna make sure that all of our tank bolts go into one. We wanna make sure our side bolts go into another. Then we want the front fairing all to go in another and so on and so on. So what I'm gonna do is we've got our right side of the bike, we've got our left side of the bike, and we're gonna start from the tank to the bottom. And then I have a little post-it note that will write what these bolts are for. So that way we don't forget where everything goes. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first thing is going to be removing obviously the tank guard. So we'll go ahead and start just removing these bolts. Now, most of these bolts generally have little rubber washers. It looks like the rubber washer is actually in the tank here. So we'll go ahead and remove these three bolts. And in addition to that, you'll have to remove these two side black bolts here. And while we're up here, we're gonna go ahead and get the seat removed. There's one T25 right in the back here. 
which once that's released, the seat will come up and out. So go ahead and set this aside. The little bolt can stay in there. And now you see we've exposed a lot more T25s for the side cover. So we're gonna go ahead and start removing these T25s. So we'll remove this one, this one, and then move to the other side for this one. And last is this one. All right, so we have our tank covers up here. The black side covers are here. And that should be all of the visible bolts. Now what we're gonna do is work out how all of this comes off now, because obviously there's gonna be some little clips in here that are holding stuff. So let's go ahead and start with this. Then we'll get the side, then we'll get this one. All right, so the top cover has two pieces of Velcro here and two clips here that pull upwards. So we wanna try to get our fingers under here and we wanna try to pull gently up, be careful. And then we've got our top cover off. You'll see there's the two little prongs here. Be careful, cause these are, these are delicate. And then it looks like there are two clips here. And now we have our top cover off. All right, so now we're ready to get this side fairing off. Now, I like to always have a pick in my hand because the BMWs tend to always have these little clips in there. So we wanna make sure that we've got something that we can push the little clips if we need to, but we also wanna be very, very gentle, you guys. Please be gentle. So uh, I know that back here, it looks like there's a little clip here. And then you can see up on the top here, there's a little push clip, which then we push it out. And in here, it looks like there's a little clip back there, but that looks like it holds this and this together. But if I peek in there, it looks like this just pulls forward and will release. So, yep. So there we go. So now we've completely removed the side cover on the right side. Now over to the left side, go ahead and pop this clip up and out. That one popped out, that one's pulled. So now we're gonna go ahead and push that forward and presto, I mean, as easy as that. Now, if you guys for some reason wanna take this plastic piece off, these are the other clips that you're dealing with. These clips are a little bit more of a pain in the butt. We're gonna experience them up here, but uh, we don't need to take this off, obviously, because it comes with it. So now we are, we have our tank exposed and we're gonna go ahead and start uh, working on getting the tank removed. Then we're gonna move down to the side fairings here. All right, so for the two main bolts, you've got a 10 millimeter, which is gonna be this bolt here on the end of the tank. And then you've got a 14 millimeter, which is the two bolts holding the tank down to the frame right here and on the other side. So let's go ahead and remove the 14 millimeter bolt here. And once this bolt comes off, you'll see that there's some washers on there. So we're gonna go ahead and try to grab as much off as we can, which then kind of loosens that tank up. All right, now onto the other side. Here is another one. So we'll go ahead and remove this one. And now we should be able to actually start to kind of lift this tank up. Now you'll see there's a lot of plugs. We'll get to those in a second. You'll see there's a lot of plugs but we are free except in the back. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna free everything up here. Then we're gonna take that 10 millimeter bolt out back here to get the tank completely off. All right, so good set of needle nose pliers is gonna be very helpful for removing some of these hoses. So we've got a vent, top vent hose over here on the right side, which will free us up here. You're gonna notice that the ECU and tank are kind of connected, but as we lift this up, the ECU kind of comes out from its clip up on the top here. So we'll go over to the other side, there's another vent hose. All right, and the other side, we've got this vent hose, which we'll go ahead and just kind of pull that one off. And it looks like we've got this plug. So this plug is going to be a push and pull, which then should almost have us free. All right, so now is the time to remove this back 10 millimeter bolt. You're gonna remove this completely to actually free the tank from the back bracket, which will allow you to pull the tank up and out. All right, now we have the 10 millimeter bolt out of the back, completely remove it with one washer and into the gas tank. 
And uh, you'll notice that there's also a clip on the other side here. Make sure that that clip stays in there. But now we're able to actually pull this tank up and actually have a little bit of play to get underneath it. Because now we have underneath, let's try to get under here. Now we have a couple more wires at the bottom of the tank that we've got to disconnect. And so we're gonna grab a rag and disconnect the fuel line and we should be good. All right, so we're gonna lift up the fuel tank and hold it up and stuff this little rag in here. And it's gonna be a hard view for you guys, but if you feel in there, you're gonna feel that there's a little tab. Let me see if I can get a view of it. So right here is a little black nipple. On the back of the black nipple is a silver or a gray piece. You're gonna push that piece. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. And once you push that piece, a little bit of gas is gonna dribble out. Not very much, but the rag caught that. All right, so I know it's tough. So there's the little gray tab. You can see the fuel lines out and we have two little plugs in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our little, let's see if I can do, see if I can do this with one hand. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this pick up and kind of push the tab down. So you see that one clip comes out, push the tab in and down. This one's a little bit further. All right, sorry, I needed two hands for this one. So you can see both the plugs are now removed and uh, the tank is ready to come off. So grab the tank and away we go. That's it. And here's our tank. So back in here to show you guys the two plugs, we've got one plug that was closer to us, one bigger plug that's further away, the fuel line. And then of course, we've got our vent hose up here. We're gonna grab the ECU out of the tank, out of this holder, the vent hose over here, and the plug. Now your gas tank is removed. Now we can start accessing the side panels, which are a little bit tricky. The side panels here, we're gonna start working and getting all of this off, all of this inside fairing off and everything to expose the radiator, which then will allow us also to expose, expose the header. All right, on the very lower fairing, you're gonna see there's one bolt down here, a T25. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one removed. And on the inside of the fairing, you're gonna have one, two, three bolts. And it looks like that's it. So one, two, three. Three, we'll get those removed with the ratchet. All right, so now we have bolt number one, two, and three removed. Now this is a little bit tricky for me because I'm in the wheel chalk, so I couldn't move my uh, tire, but if you just move the handlebar over, it gives you a lot more room for these two. So let's go ahead and uh, it looks like everything is free bolt wise. It looks like now we've just got to find which ones are held in by little peg holders and Velcros and which way it goes. So. Uh, Let's see how this goes. All right, so how BMW has designed this, they've actually designed the black piece to actually stay stationary in the, in the outer fairing to come out. So right here, you're gonna pull just a little bit, which releases one of the tabs here. There's another tab right back here, which we're gonna pull gently, gently, guys. So what we're doing is we're just trying to pull the black and this piece away from each other and get the clip to snap out. So you can see I'm kind of snapping all the clips out. So there's one here, there's one there, there's one there, and the final one. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips and the screw. So the screw's up here, and then we've got all of these clips now you'll see here that we're held on by another bolt here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. But we do have to remove the lower fairing because it is also clipped in. So we're gonna go ahead and find our clip. There's one at the bottom. And then this pulls out. So clip, pull it out. Clip, pull it out. Okay. So now we've got those. So now you're gonna see the black is actually bolted on by one, two, three more bolts and it looks like this is going to be a plunger okay so one two three more bolts one 
two. And down on the bottom, number three. And it looks like now we are loose. There's a clip up in the front. So right around mid fairing, there's another clip right here, which we have to separate from the back black fairing. So we're just gonna kind of push gently and away we come. So we've got a couple bolts here in addition for the black fairing. And then let's see, it looks like it was right here. This tab goes into here, which we're gonna be removing this. And uh, now our right side fairing is completely apart. All right, so just like on the other side, you've got one bolt here, which you'll remove and then pull the clip out from the bottom and slide it up into the back of the bike. Remember, clip first, then slide it up and back. Then you've got the three bolts here that will get removed. One, two, three. All right, so with those four bolts removed, You've got the lower fairing off. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop this top fairing. Remember, we're gonna start back over here. All right, so we're gonna start popping off the clips. Remember, you have one clip all the way in the back. Start in the back and work your way. Clip, clip. Clip down on the bottom. Clip, I believe, right here. Clip. And one final clip, and we are free. So, clip, 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 clip. All removed, which exposes our black piece, which again, we've got a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt here. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull this out of its plunger. And we should be completely free and actually uh, let's see, we've got a couple vent hoses down here, which will pull straight up and out. Straight up and out. And we actually have not only, let's go ahead and just pop this out from the clip, not only the front V, but we have the side now. So now we've completely exposed ourselves. So if you guys are watching this video and you've skipped ahead, you didn't do the gas tank and you're looking to install the radiator guards, now is your time to go over to the radiator guards and uh, check that video out. All right, well, welcome back to phase two. We are putting the bike back together. So we have successfully put on our header system. We've been up in the tank. We've actually installed the tank, which was pretty simple. Again, plug it in and the one 10 millimeter uh, bolt through here and the two 13 millimeter bolts that holds it down. Of course, you got two plugs on the bottom here and here. Pretty self-explanatory. So the tank had to go on for the tuning and everything for the uh, exhaust, but we wanted to bring you guys back for our reassembly of the side fairings, the tank fairings, and get everything buttoned up to show you guys just a full complete teardown fairing wise and rebuild fairing wise. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and start with our right side and we're gonna take our uh, big black fairing here and get this thing started to be mounted up. So first thing we're gonna do, the easy part is really just get this thing set in. So on the back side here is our little knob, the little nubs goes right into this black plastic piece, which is gonna be our first holder. We're gonna bo do both the black fairings with the holder, then what we're gonna do is start by getting the inner fairing in, and then we'll start bolting everything down. So let's go ahead and get this mounted and the other side mounted just with the nub. Then we'll start getting this mounted on the inner part by the radiator guards, and then we'll get the rest of it all bolted down. All right, so we have both black fairings on and the inner fairing, and what we did is we just actually, there's two little snap tabs, one on each side, that hold the inner fairing into the black outer fairing. This way we just at least got a little stable uh, on the inner black fairing, but you can see it all lines up and everything, so when you bolt it in, you're gonna see that the little bolt back here uh, all lines up and everything like that. And then once it all tightens down with that bolt, and then of course the side fairings, and then getting these all bolted down, uh, you should have a complete stable uh, black 
and interfering. So now we're gonna go ahead and start bolting down here, 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 and, uh, and I think there's one more somewhere around here. I think there's four total bolts that we're gonna be inserting to get this all completely held down on each side. All right, so each side you should have a long one, one more long kind of thick one, and two thinner bolts. The long one, you're gonna be putting right into this spot here, which is the upper. And then the big thick one will be the holder on the top here. And then the two thin ones will be down here. And uh, last one, that one. Oh, and then there's one inside the fairing here, okay? So you got one bolt that goes in here, the thick one, thin one, thin one, and the long one. All right, so you guys have two bolts left. You got this big thick one left and a little one. The little thin bolt is gonna come up in the backside here, which is gonna hold the fairing on here once it snaps on. And then the big thick one, this is the last one that's gonna go on the bottom fairing, which holds everything together on the bottom. So let's go ahead and snap this on. And you're just gonna basically start here. Uh, let's see, there's one hook. I feel like there's a hook somewhere on this one. No hook on this one. So basically you're just gonna line up the tabs here, 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 and start to push the tabs in. And then your last bolt behind here. All right, onto the lower piece. So you're gonna have one slide and one snap with one screw, which is the thicky. So you're gonna slide it in here, snap it on the bottom. And the final for this side, right here on the bottom with this bolt. All right, back over to the right side. Long bolt goes straight in the upper black fairing. The two go on the inside. And then remember, you've got the one thick one here, which goes on the lower once we mount the lower plastic piece. All right, now we're on to the tank covers. You've got two bolts for the tank covers on the side. You've got a long bolt, which is gonna go up front, and the short bolt, which goes in the back. And then there is a little tab right here that we're gonna slide it in. So what we're gonna do first is take the tank cover, get it and slide it in. And then we're gonna align the tank cover up, up here and snap it back here, cause there's a little snap back here. And then now we should have the small bolt go in here and the large bolt should go in here. And then to the other side, we're gonna make sure we get this slid into the tank. So we're gonna go in here, make sure it slides in and then line everything up. Make sure we snap the back in. All right, and our final piece, the tank cover that goes on here. What we're gonna start by doing is clipping the one, two clip into the one, two clip here, which then should line our top up. And these bolts, there's gonna be three bolts left, one long one, which goes in the front, and the two little ones go in the back. And last but not least, we have reached the final piece, the seat. Slides in, make sure you've got the hook here that goes down here. So you're gonna hook this in the bottom there. And then you've got the one last screw right back there. And voila, you guys are all back together. All right, well, here we have it. The final assembly on the S1000 single R. I hope that you guys have been able to get it all completely assembled. Like I said, uh, one of the things that I wanted to make sure that this had a full disassembly and assembly because a lot of times you guys start to take your bikes apart. It's very intimidating to take a bike apart. So it's very nice to have a little reference in addition. So hopefully this was helpful, but uh, make sure you guys do the normal. Hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and then ring the bell notification. The bell notification is going to give you a future notification of future content on the uh, S1000 single R the Ducati Street Fighter, the Ducati V2, the BMW S1000 XR. Uh, we've got a lot going on, so thank you guys for sticking around. Make sure you stick around for the uh, future videos. You're gonna see a full arrow 
uh, header SC project exhaust install. You're gonna see the Brentune flapper delete air filter install. You're gonna see the Evotech radiator guards tomorrow. And uh, and then finally, we're gonna get the tune and everything in here from Brent Tune and walk you guys through step-by-step step on how to do that. So this is part number one of four. I hope you guys can make it to four. And um, I'm getting ready to ride the all new 2022 BMW S1000R for the first time tuned, deleted everything. I'm super excited. So thank you guys for sticking around and we'll see you next video. Bye guys.